Good morning everybody, John here. Thank you for watching In The Loop Travel. And we are on day two of our sailing with Royal Caribbean on the new Odyssey of the Seas. And this is the second vlog in a series of vlogs I'm gonna do during the week as we sail in the Caribbean to Mexico and perfect day at Coco Cay. Yesterday, uh, I will link that video in the description box below. We had embarkation day. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about the procedures they're having on board with the health protocols because of COVID, um, they do ask if you're willing to show a vaccination card. And if you do, you get a wristband so you can go around the ship and it shows that you are vaccinated. And what that does is opens up a whole array of activities that unvaccinated passengers aren't going to be able to participate in. Um, particularly, they have a listing of events, activities, and shows in the program that will be marked with a V for vaccinated passengers only or E, which means everybody, and it will be mixed. And um, interestingly, for the vaccinated passengers uh, in the gym, for example, there's a series of hours from like eight in the morning till seven at night, 11 hours for us, that only vaccinated passengers can go into. And it'd be your option whether you want to wear your mask or not when you're in there. Um, and they have small windows of time uh, early in the morning and later in the evening where unvaccinated passengers can use the gym but they do have to make an appointment and they will limit capacity to 40 people. And of course, you will also be wearing your mask while you're working out. So there's things like that. The, they have a bar that is specifically for vaccinated passengers only. Other areas of the ship, like the solarium, would be for vaccinated passengers only. So uh, that's how they're doing it on board during the times of this pandemic. Otherwise, um, we've been having a great time. Uh, we will today head down to the main dining room for breakfast and start our day there and I thought what I would do today since it is a sea day I would show you all of or as many as I can today I'll try to get around and show you all the restaurants they have on board and also some of the other activities we get up to and that's what I'll continue to do throughout the week show you all of the restaurants activities uh, there's so much to do on this brand new ship I'm gonna try to get it all in for you on this series of videos as we continue on now let's go with day two. Got a nice little promenade here out on deck five. When you come to the outer decks, it's a mask-free zone for everyone. So take your masks off and enjoy the fresh air. Let's head back inside and check out some of those restaurants and eateries. See what's going on on the ship today. The Italian eatery Giovanni's. And they've got a wine bar here too. This uh, area on five overlooks the main dining room. I was 
There's a future cruise desk. Hey, hey everybody. <laughs> All right. All right. Busy <laughs> doing. This is a. Uh, Cafe at 270 opens up for uh, meals here. We'll check this out later. I think I will graze my way around the ship today to show you all the different places. I'll have some Sorrento's Pizza, some Cafe 270, some uh, a local Welcome fresh. To Hello. Welcome to my vlog. Can I shout out? Yes, give a shout yeah, out. Yeah, shout out from Next Cruise. Hi, Philippines, my mom. Oh, <laughs> Mama. awesome. See, they're happy to have us on board here. This is awesome. So this is 270, the big venue. We watched the show here on the first night. It's kind of a dynamic space. They've got a lot of wraparound digital screens and everything, a lot of activities. During the day, it's just sort of a lounging area, but they have a lot of shows back here. Aerialists, acrobats, dancers, singers. It's a great place. Three, two, and one. So the category once again, company, the letter is A. The family all the way back there, talk to me, give me something for five points. Apple. Woo! Apple. Woo! Everyone loves you for that one. Apple, five points, correct. All right, the family right here for four points. Company, talk to me. AT&T. AT&T. Oh, at and is good for four points. And let's pick on the family right here for one point. Talk to me. Audi. Audi. I know Audi, but we put it down. Ooh, does anyone put Audi? All right, so no one put Audi. So we will keep that one point for company. So that's a very popular schooner bar, Royal Caribbean Original cruising favorite. They're having a little trivia now. And you could see that Chops Grill, the steakhouse, was at the other end there. And this we are walking through is the Japanese restaurant, Izumi. Japanese cuisine and a cozy little venue. Overlooks the Esplanade here. How are you doing today? Good morning. And that takes you around to Wonderland. It's a fantastical restaurant and sort of performance art going on at the same time. Creative gastronomy sort of thing. This is imaginative cuisine. If you've uh, heard of this on Royal Caribbean ships, kind of a unique experience. Hello. Sort of based on an Alice in Wonderland concept. And we're through the looking glass in here, this little fantasy area. A unique dining experience. So we're on deck five here and we'll head on down to deck four, uh, see more of the Esplanade. There's a lot of shops down here, more bars and some places to eat. Of course, you've got the large Starbucks here on Odyssey of the Seas for you coffee drinkers.
pizza place. Hello, good morning. Thank you. Let me know if you want something. Yeah? All right. Yeah, hey, you might as well bring me another one of those. Another one. All right. Hello, good morning. How are you? Yes, thank you. Can I say hi in the camera? You sure can. Hello. Where are you from? India. I'm from India. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> See, I tell you, this is awesome. The crew is very excited to have people cruising again and they are really welcoming. I love it. So this is the uh, bar area for vaccinated passengers, so a little spot on board. And we'll come check out later at live music. All sorts of beers and cocktails and a nice little intimate atmosphere. Hello. Yeah, a little bit of that. Yeah, then I'm gonna have. That's that's enough. That's fine. Then I'm gonna get a. Do you have any a pepperoni? Oh, that's fine. That's the only one I want. Thank you. So yeah, I got my slice at Sorrento's. Hello. Are we gonna? Sit down somewhere. Thank you. <laughs> this is the other end of the Esplanade, and there are so many shops here. They are all open today because we are sailing on a sea day. There's a lot of luxury brands. Head back upstairs. That's perfect, thank you. Thank you. The Thai chicken noodle salad. They've got a lot of great choices in here. So I'm gonna take advantage of a, another lunch opportunity. Let's build your lunch day at every place on board. Excellent. <laughs> Down this and then probably get a taco up top. Chicken? Uh, One chicken, please. One chicken, please. Thank you. Say, um, you have like a cheese or what yeah, else? Okay. Ah, oh, everything over there. All right, thank you. So I'm quite satisfied now. You saw me eat a slice of pizza at Sorrento's. We had the Thai chicken noodle salad at 270 Cafe. Up top to the pool deck, you see they got El Loco Fresh, which is a great place for burritos, tacos, quesadillas. And so now, we're gonna have to hit the gym today again. We do that every day on board anyway, so we can enjoy our cruise and indulge and get in a workout and make it all level out. Uh, for now, we're gonna first hit the trivia contest because someone's a big Harry Potter fan. It's me. <laughs> And we're gonna do some Harry Potter trivia. Here's the music hall. Music hall is a huge bar and lounge area covering two decks, uh, levels three and four. And you can see how spacious it is. We're on the upper level here looking around. It's got pool tables, a large bar right in the middle of the room. And this is used mainly for live music acts on the stage below. Uh, trivia contest, which we are about to attend here today. As well as like port talks and other sorts of events that they can use on the big stage 
uh, right down on the third level. But is mainly a brilliant space for live music acts in the evening. Right next door to Music Hall, I should mention, if you are a Royal Cruiser with the Loyalty Program, if you reach Diamond status, they have a special little lounge area for you. You come here for happy hours and anytime you just want to get away and have your own quiet space, this is for Diamond and above in the Loyalty status program. You can get breakfast in the morning from the little breakfast cart. They have coffees and pastries all day. But we settled in for the trivia. Colleen is a big Harry Potter fan. I was quite clueless. What is the house number of the Dursleys? And we didn't win. Took it from there onto the gym. I've got uh, some footage of the fitness center, more extensive footage in my first vlog. You can check it out. I'll put it in the description box below. All right, so that burned off a few calories in the gym, and now it is uh, on to some more eating. We're gonna have a light meal in the main dining room and then show you the Playmaker Sports Bar where we'll probably have a few more snacks, but it's a pretty cool place and maybe the best sports bar at sea. Let's go. Dinner has arrived. We're here in our seats in the main dining room. Right under the centerpiece here in the room, it's nice. So uh, I showed you earlier, we had breakfast here. You can also have lunch and uh, of course dinner. And Colleen's got a nice tenderloin. <laughs> And I've got an herb crusted salmon. So we're gonna dig in and enjoy. Seaplex is probably uh, my favorite place on the ship because it has the huge sports bar that we're taking you through here. But you could see as we walked in, they've got a large arena below. And the feature there is the bumper car activities that they have. Kind of cool that they have bumper cars on a cruise ship. But that sports court below also is the place for basketball, soccer. You can even play pickleball. They had events on the program I saw, archery, ping pong, and things like that. And surrounding the space on both levels is also an arcade with all kinds of video games and other games. It's great space for families and kids. But we liked coming up here, settling in, and enjoying craft beers, and of course, watching our sports. All right, here we are at Playmakers. This has got to be the best sports bar on a cruise ship that I've ever seen. Playmakers has got uh, a good history of Royal Caribbean. I've enjoyed all the Playmakers on all their ships, but this one just goes to the next level. Look at this big screen. We're watching the NFL pregame, a preseason game. Uh, they got some craft beers, and I counted 55 TVs around here with five different zones for audio. You can have your games uh, set up as you want in the different areas around the bar. So we're gonna order some wings and uh, settle in and enjoy this place. All right, we are headed into the main theater. This is a vaccinated guest area, so we can take our masks off. And we're gonna watch a magic show. Magician Hector Ruiz was the featured act for the night in the main theater on Odyssey of the Seas. And it was a fun way to close out our night. Another busy day on the ship. 
So we will end vlog number two of our trip. We have the other vlogs posted in the description box below. Enjoy this moonlight from our balcony and we'll see you in the next one.